Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you, to each and every one. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a beautiful morning. Yeah. Good morning, team. Good morning. Good morning. It's a beautiful morning. That fix the pot. May I call? May I fix the pot? Good morning. It's a good day. And we're singing a song. This morning is a nice start. This morning. It's a nice breakfast we're gonna be having. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a good day, it's a good day. Welcome to all those who are watching Yardabella TV. If today is your first time being on Yardabella TV, uh, please, please subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed and let me tell you something guys many persons may watch us on a regular and not even know that they're not subscribed so please check if you are subscribed and hit that subscribe button all right today we have a crazy 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 breakfast going because it's our no meat November and it's just been awesome guys I am sort of maybe closely sort of missing the meat but not fully you know what i mean i don't know if, if you understand good morning tanya johnson t mish good morning i don't know if you understand what me i say me sort of maybe closely maybe miss the meat but i don't really miss it it's not it's just the, i guess it's just the um withdrawal symptoms yeah remember call it that withdrawal drawal symptoms all right but this morning we're gonna be making something really really awesome and so without further ado let me go in and show you guys our um ingredients yes 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 so we're using some veggie chunks and this is like i've known this since i was in jamaica um and this morning as a matter of fact what we had originally planned to use we could not use so we switch and draw for the veggie chunks so we use some veggie chunks to make um run down we have some coconut milk here we have some radish some vegetables you know garlic celery carrot scallion onion and tomatoes and we're gonna make some veggie chunks run down veggie chunks run down yes 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 it sounds crazy right but that's what we're gonna do see the wife we have our decoration over there yeah, she's very proud of it. I'm going to be using some seaweed to give it that fish flavor. Yeah. And um, the veggie chunks is re relatively easy to prepare, guys. What you simply do is it's on the, it, the, the, the thing is on the back here. You soak it in hot water until it is soft, maybe about five minutes, and then you drain it. And then they have a simple way of just sauteing it up here, which is just garlic and olive oil and, and then saute it up. But of course, we are not going to do that. We are going to take it to another level. Yeah. So today we are, I've already put my veggie chunks in hot water. Yeah. And when you put it in hot water, this is how it, it comes out, guys. It almost want to look like bread when you use make bread pudding. You know, that's how it really come out. All right. And you basically want to drain this um, nicely. All right. So when it is like this, you're pretty much going to basically season this right here and use it to make your rundown. Yeah all right so let's 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 put that over there for a little bit i'm using coconut cream and the coconut cream is great because it 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 has the coconut milk here but then it also has a layer of coconut oil and this coconut oil is super delicious um i've uh, 
good morning to you Janice Jones good morning to you uh, yeah so this coconut oil awesome and it's a ton of flavor and coconut oil is good all right so without further so you want to tell them what you're gonna cook with it or show them what's going on in your pot real quick mm -hmm. <laughs> oh you sound so I'm tired okay when you're done um share your dinner you can go get an, I'm an, tired plus I don't see the, any thumbs up on the thing so you're not seeing a thumbs up no I feel her All right, so <laughs> I'ma still show them, even though they don't like, they don't like we. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. So this is the food part, a bubble. Did you, you guys... say good morning? No, I'm sorry, guys. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is a good morning. Yeah. Most people eat rundown with food, right? Am I right? Is that what you have it with? Yeah, I remember when we used to eat the salt mackerel rundown. Some nice soft banana and dumpling and all these things is what we usually put it with. So we're trying to keep it a little bit traditional in terms of that aspect of it. Even though we're going vegan or veggie with the meat part. Yeah, so this is what we're having. We're having green bananas meal dumpling and um, yellow yam and somewhere in there he may have one piece of cocoa but I don't like cocoa so no but one one cocoa full basket so you <laughs> like it really really mm -hmm. really that's how you feel that's how I feel about it I need a little bit more water you need a little bit more water in the, in the pot water yeah all right I come into you some in. water for the pot guys go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you are watching and you would like to see the outcome of this dish, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Want more water still? We are the Bella TV. Run down in a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Some people yeah. say you know, if you put um water in the in cold water in the in the pot in your cook. Yeah, you yeah. Well, when you put cold water in the pot, it make the banana cough. It does make the pot stop boil, and then I guess yeah. I think it, it kind of shook the food. I make it sh shake up. I make the food get shock. Mhm. Is it shook it or shock it? <laughs> it does something to it. All right, so our veggie chunks is right there. All right. P. Leslie Homasumoto says, looking for that pineapple recipe where you cook the pineapple skins. Oh, it's 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 in my vegan playlist. The pineapple juice? Yeah. Okay. It's in my vegan playlist. And it's easy to find a playlist? And it's super easy to find a playlist. Just look for Yardy Belly Vegan Food. Okay, P. Leslie, you heard that? He said it's in the vegan playlist, so if you look you will you know see i think more than one yeah and juice. i have yeah a lot of variations on that same pineapple drink mm -hmm. any other questions all oh, the good things then <laughs> yes tanya all oh, the good things then yo bonjour a la jamaica okay g cartel studio <laughs> which language That's french is french bonjour Good morning, Ava Finn. Good morning. Good morning, Janice. Tanya, big up yourself. T Mish. Long time. OMG. T Mish in the house. <laughs> she did graduate. She did graduate. Yeah, she joined back the class. <laughs> T Mish, you've been MIA, girl. You get um, D for absence. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so attendance. I have some some um turnip here and i just thought i'd put some turnip in it yeah and the turnip is is just my preference if you have potatoes for instance and you want to offset your 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 dish with potatoes then that's fine i just saw turnip in the store and said you know a long time and i eat some turnip so yeah that's how the turnip argument come in so that's optional candy's chin good morning big up yourself candy's chin i know you're usually chin. busy at this time mm -hmm. But we thank you for joining us. So we're going a little bit late this morning, so. 
Mahelo. What is Mahelo? Mahelo? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It may be a name. Let's say Mahelo. I don't know what that Mahelo is in reference to. Maybe yeah. she's not the angel and she said Mahelo. <laughs> Mahelo. Once again, you guys. All right, let me do. Since I don't say much thumbs up, let me go ahead and do my tutorial for those who may not know how to switch from the chat to the the like button. Let me go ahead and show you. Hold on. Wait a minute. I want to do the good things there. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So turn your focus over to my phone. This is my phone. And I'm in the chat. Just as all you guys are in the chat. Just go ahead and hit the X to the right. Top right of the chat. And it will take you out and take it to the Yardy Belly TV's main page. Now. This is where you will see the thumbs up and the thumbs down button. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up button because we don't deal with thumbs down round here, right? Because anybody who hit the thumbs down button is a loser. All right. And then once you do that, then you go right back ahead and hit the live chat button and you are back. Oh, hold on. <laughs> hit Thank the live met. chat button and you are back in business yeah all right all right good good job thank you guys thank you guys uh, thank you thank you thank you thank you on behalf of the chef <laughs> boy i don't chef boy i don't <laughs> i thank you all right so we have some veggies over here and oh peter leslie says that Mahelo means thank you in Hawaiian. Awesome. We learned something this morning. And it also means you're an angel and have a halo. Halo. <laughs> Ava Finn, you're not late. We just started. Good morning to you, Ava. I, I, is the camera on what I'm doing? Or is it on nothing? It's on you. It's on me? You're seeing me? My hands and everything? Yep. Are you serious? Do I have I cute hands? <laughs> I think my hands are cute. I don't know about you. Yeah. Oh so in the bowl, Ava, we have um, veggie chunks and a turnip, not to be confused with turnip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel crazy. When I'm tired, I act crazy. So yeah, we have this veggie chunks and turnip. And over here, he is just cutting up the seasonings, the onions, the garlic. He has a little bit of celery. Am I right? Is that color? Yeah. And carrot over there still. Right? Yes. <laughs> what are you cooking? But Donna Daly, big up yourself. Good morning, Donna Daly. DD. Oh, so we have CC in the house and DD in the house. Yes, yes, come true. Yeah, so we are cooking um veggie chunk rundown. Never heard of that before? You gotta stick and stay because <laughs> it's gonna be all the way delicious. live. Yeah. And as usual, we don't, we are not pretentious around here. We cook what we have mm -hmm. and we cook for real because yes. guess what? We have to eat it. We don't throw out when we're done the show. Right. And the little boy have to eat it too. He's not a rich kid, so he must have to eat it. Jalen Lewis, top of the morning to you, girl. Good morning to you. Who says Jalen is a girl? J A L Y N. I don't know. Oh, the, the L Y N. Yeah, the L Y N song. Maybe Jalen, please let us know if you're a girl. If you are not, our sincere apologies. If you are, well, good for you. Well, um, P Leslie, no, the veggie chunks was not frozen. It came actually like such, and we got it in our local supermarket. Um, supermarket. Our Spanish supermarket, mm, Caribbean, Latin Caribbean. Caribbean market. So and this is Jamaican, really. Right. So actually, in its um undiluted, not undiluted, <laughs> unsoaked state, it is pretty hard. It feels like croutons. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm squeezing it, but it is pretty 
hard. So this is what it looks like, a, a crouton. And then tell them that you have to soak it in hot water for five minutes. So you just, he went ahead and soaked it for five minutes. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up of what the texture is looking like now that it has been soaked. It looks more like actual meat after it is soaked. Yeah, so. See? And once it is soaked, then you can use it in whatever ways you want. I have a curry veggie chunks um, recipe as well on in my playlist, in my breakfast life, in my playlist. So I will find it for you in the vegan playlist. There's supposed to be a curry veggie chunks. And I'll find it for you. And of course, you will get access to that. All right, so we are almost ready to move into our seasoning stage. I'm just doing some final cutting up. Yeah, and let me cut the whites. I usually cut the whites of the scallion. You see, P? Everybody One. is anti soy. Candice Jean said, I wish it wasn't from soy, though. Yeah, we, we kind of got wind of a potential hazard with using soy. And so, you know. But it's not the same though. I mean, um, there, are some, there are some bad reps about soy, but it's not every soy. Um, and I think also it depends on the level of processing. But today, for now, we have to, we have to use one at the cupboard. You mm -hmm, get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are not showing anything out. <laughs> so for the purpose of two things, not wasting what we already had and stick into the vegan no meat november then we are going to utilize what we have you know and it's funny you know it's funny too because almost everything that is vegan that is on the market now has soy almost everything the vegan sausages the vegan turkey the vegan chicken the vegan whatever mm -hmm. out there they, they are putting soy in it you know so it's crazy that you know we are we are we are um anti so yeah <laughs> you know, not anti. Well, you can choose not to eat. Uh, we're concerned. You just have to look and be very mindful of what the ingredients are when you're looking for, you know, different foods to eat. So, I mean, it's hard to get away from it if you're trying to eat a, a plant based diet. Trust me. However, you can, but you just have to be more, you know, restrictive. You have to be more mindful. And, and that's and one of the reasons why a lot of people turn back from. Eating, the backslide. Yeah, they backslide from eating vegetables because they they are restricted by what they have to eat. Some people just eat one thing, you know, like some people just eat um um what you call it. Some people just have oatmeal. Mm -hmm. Then not because they don't know what else to eat, then just mm -hmm. go it on and just say, you know, what me just eat oatmeal. Yeah, for real, you know, you have people who eat the same exact thing every, every single, single day. day. Yeah, like you know, you know, eat more oatmeal good. every morning. Every yeah. morning. My sister too, she eats plant porridge, she said every every morning. Really I think they're mad. But I don't think any too much of and no matter how good the thing is, I don't think too much of anything is it's good. good. Too much of one thing? Good for nothing. Good for nothing. Hallelujah. All right, so Sharon Brown, good morning to you, girl. I do turnip instead of potato. I really thank y'all for this recipe. Y'all be put me on point i just changed my meat to tofu mushroom etc i thank you and your wife bloomington elena thank bloomington you bloomington in the house illinois in the house all right so i'm using a little bit of um, my coconut lime dressing yeah so p leslie you see to how we have never ever been in Hawaii, Honolulu? I cannot answer that question. I don't know if it's available in Hawaii, but you what? can. I guess the tofu? The soy chunk? The so, the, the, yeah, the soy yeah, chunk. It, 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 it may be, you have to really check, you have to search for it, but I know it's it's something that is available worldwide. It's just maybe mm -hmm. packaged a little bit different. different. So it's soya vegan chunks. All right, I have some lemon pepper here that I'm also adding. And lemon pepper is my go-to seafood seasoning, guys. And because I want this to have a seafoody type of vibe, that's why I'm adding my lemon pepper. All right? And so again, <laughs> what, what? Tanya Johnson says so it's better than fried chicken wings. Of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to add a little cumin. And the reason why I'm adding a little cumin is not to curry it up. 
but to give it a little bit of body, a little bit of vibe, curry have a little, the cumin have a little undertone to it that is very homely. All right, so now list all that I'm using in the description box after the video is done so that you guys have um, access to it. Donna Daly said, bless it and eat it. Integrity Step said, I'd rather eat soy than eating meat. Meat is 100% worse. All right, this is from Trader Joe's. It's called Mushroom and Company. It's a umami seasoning. It is not absolutely 100% um, necessary, and so I leave it on the um, optional list. And then I'm also adding a little bit of garam masala. All right, now these are my go-to seasonings. All right, I'm gonna add some Old Bay, and I like Old Bay, so bear with me. Old Bay is my, oh, so fish. is yeah, old, seafood based. Old Bay is our is our um holy grail. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, if you notice, I've not added salt itself. I'm just gonna add a little bit of Larry's now, just a little bit, but not too much. All right, all right, that's good, and that's it for seasonings. So. Now I'm going to basically mix in everything. Yeah. Would that look like a whole heap of seasoning? <laughs> Trust me, it looks like yeah, a whole heap of seasoning. because you don't want to eat. You don't want, when you're eating your food, it tastes like cardboard. That's the other thing that you guys have to be aware of because this is something that is rehydrated. You're mm -hmm. basically eating a, a, um, a lot of uh, roughage, you know, that is, that is rehydrated. It's like saltfish. Sawfish is, is basically roughage. Sawfish has absolutely no um, no nutrients or no form of, of you know um, vitamins or anything like that in it. And so when you have saltfish, you're basically having just salt and, and trash. Do you understand? Alright. So I have here some extra virgin coconut oil. And that is from Trader Joe's. No, not Trader Joe's, from Aldi. Mm -hmm. But I don't have to use it. I forgot that I have oil here. Oh. In my coconut, coconut, cream. coconut cream. All right. And this coconut cream is, is it's crazy. This is one brand alone make coconut cream. For real? Yeah, one brand alone that I know of that makes coconut cream and it's a Jamaican brand. All right. And so you just add some coconut cream or some oil to this and it quite look quite seasoned to me mm -hmm. you know yeah, it looks very much so seasoned yeah no, that looks I'm good put in time. oh yes i need to put some time mm -mm. you can look for the time for me the time is now 10 40. no not sure <laughs> not that time you lady, I'm mean, like so when you look for the time, you know, you know, really? yeah, I'm mean, like so when you look for the time, you look so nice when you're looking in the fridge. Really? Hallelujah, glory, hot <laughs> color look. So guys, I was in in, in um, New York over the weekend. It was such a nice um, program, and I enjoyed it thoroughly. Did I say thorough? I said thorough, very much so, enjoyed it thoroughly. All right, so guys, um, on the reel, you'd want this to soak in for maybe another five minutes or so. But in the interest of time, we're going to work with it as it is. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I'm not going to put it. Should I put the time in there or put it in the pot? It no matter, right? Mm -mm. It no matter. If you put it in there, or you put it in the pot, let me tell you, it no matter. All right, so somebody told me that seaweed is good. I am loving that you guys are doing this vegan challenge for a month. Yay! Who's that? Marv, what's the name? That was from Integrity Steps. Big and yourself. then, Mevan Wig Johnson said, hi guys, enjoying your meal, meatless dishes. I sometimes I don't eat meat. I eat peas and beans. I'm from Jamaica. Awesome. Girl. Blessings, my Jamaican queen. Awesome. Yeah, and this is the this is the soya. This is the seaweed, guys. Yeah, 
and it's a, actually a, sne a seaweed snack mm -hmm. and you can get this at Aldi all right let me show you again seaweed roasted seaweed <laughs> snack and it, it just tastes like the sea Donna Daly said what no chicken for a month yes Donna Donna must tell you say at no first I was so so worried and fretting it down Donna last night let me tell you guys posting on our social media what we, we've been eating you know for the different yeah, days so you have it's to been, follow us on instagram it's been six days so far today is the seventh day so we've been posting on our stories so follow yardy belly tv on instagram follow me at one true natural or follow joshua at josh the food lover yeah so and, yes. and joshua has been great yeah you know he's joshua has been yeah he has been you know working with the food budget plan mm -hmm. you know not complaining eating and actually enjoying and that's why as we mentioned before that's why we try to make the food nice and seasoned and flavorful yeah so you know yesterday we had some what name beet carrot beet burger vegan yeah. burger yeah that yeah. i made it's a, it's in the playlist as well that's in the playlist as well so that's what we had yesterday burger with some sweet potato um bakes we didn't fry them we, we, we bake everything in the new wave oven see i challenge you to eat one of the the, the seaweed not doing that eat see oh seaweed yeah, yeah. I like eat seaweed. it on camera I, I eat seaweed i don't see the point of eating seaweed though let me turn the camera to show you guys you tell me now how is this a snack that is remotely filling this is just to pass time right because why else would somebody eat this as a snack i don't know right, can tell them if it tastes good ew <laughs> i never know it. what <laughs> since the first time i'm tasting this this literally tastes like fish yes are you kidding me <laughs> what wow this tastes like fish yes this tastes like fried fish skin yes all right come wow. over here now come over here now with the camera no i'm on camera come over here i'm gonna add this to the pot now hold on just bring that bring the wait pan. you never turn it first you should show yourself first <laughs> All right, guys. So now I have some coconut oil in the pot, and this is the same coconut oil from the. Oh, this pot is actually hot, you guys. <laughs> you know, so you're about to take in very about to take in, you know. I see another voice is in the house. I see you. I see not showing the lips so far. What, Janice? Seaweed tea and cinnamon is good as well i'm so loving your two vegan meals no <laughs> and guys we had an official repost the other day somebody repost my my vegan oxtail and what else did we have somebody repost again somebody repost my else. vegan oxtail and something else yeah i don't remember what the second thing was you said the person only showed the process not the final yeah. thing i don't know oh the aki and tempeh Okay. Somebody repost the Aki with Tempe. Somebody is asking, hold on, I'm missing a lot of comments here. Let me go back. Let me go back, back, back. All right. I'm going to check on. <laughs> Donna said, I'm going to check under your pillow for chicken bones. <laughs> but <laughs> then chicken not coming at the house, so I think I reach another pillow. You think him sneaking some chicken, right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Have you guys lost any weight on the meatless diet? You see, it has been only six days, and, and I I feel very slimish. Yeah, I can truly say I feel slimish too. And she look for me funny now. You know, guys. She looking at me with a little bit of lust in her eyes. So I think yeah. something is going on. Yes, yes. I tried the meatless thing one time already, you know, for three months, and my waistline was snatched. <laughs> Remember me tell you. And snatched. you snatch it back. <laughs> yeah, chicken has snatched it back. <laughs> for real, it was snatched, and I snatched it back. <laughs> All right, so I'm adding in my my thyme. Smells so good. Mm 
All right, hold on, hold on. Okay. Integrity Step says, I'm vegan and you're giving me so many delicious vegan re recipes. I'm loving it. You're welcome, Thank you. Girl. Please like and share and subscribe and everything. Oh, Tanya, you're doing it too? Tanya says, it hasn't been bad at all. I almost fell off the wagon when I saw soupies with meat. But thank goodness, I resisted temptation. Hallelujah, you Jesus. Go, girl. You go, girl. I just added garlic, guys. I just added my garlic. Where can I get veggie chunks? Hadassa Emmanuel. Where are you located? Where it's, are you? It's usually in the West Indian stores mm -hmm. or Latin um, supermarkets. By the way, the copper pan is better than that to cook with. Okay. We will bear that in mind. So, so who will ever donate a cup of pan to us? Yeah. <laughs> guys, let me just be honest with you guys. <laughs> let me tell you, the food price are beat with. Just be real. We're going to be real with you today. It's so crazy to just cook different things, especially if you want to go healthy. We already, the month just started and we already gone $150 in mm -hmm. just food, just to, just to get things together. And even you know? for today's breakfast, remember how we said we weren't gonna go to, go the, to store. the supermarket? Yeah, and we're and then there's always, always there's always <laughs> something that you don't have that you need to go for, and then when you end up going, you have to end up end up. Yeah, the, the your food store. budget get blown. All right, so what's for lunch? The lunch is gonna be the leftover hamburger. Are are the same thing that we're cooking now? Cause we're not play around yet. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm I would more add, to have this for dinner because I'm not cooking again today. I'm gonna add my, but this is lunch because it's late. It's usually brunch. I'm gonna add my on, onions now. And guys, if you notice how I add stuff, I add stuff gradually. I don't dump everything together. Mm -hmm. I allow one set of things to, to cook and impart flavor, mm -hmm. and then you add the other stuff. Oh, Hadassah says she's there in Hollandale, Miami. So you can go to oh, Bravo. Oh, the Presidente or Bravo. Bravo. Bravo or Presidente or any one of those Latin. Hadassah, we, we in Miami Garden, so we are neighbors. Mm -hmm. Do you grow any food in your garden? <laughs> See, what had happened was, we will grow in our garden. When, when we, we get the house. When we pay mortgage on a garden and not rent. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, landlord put you out on the food, alright? <laughs> and tell us, I okay, can't touch nothing from the property. <laughs> you have to leave. Landlord said, nah. <laughs> leave my place. Oh, yeah. Top Max says, sometimes it's easier to cheap, to, cheaper to eat out. I can see that. Trust yeah, me. The, I can see that sometimes. But the problem is, you know, Top Max, the problem is you don't know what I'm going to give sometimes. Sometimes you just see what I'm going to give. Eat, yeah, it hurts you. Mm-hmm. Show that, show that, show that. Watch this now, watch this now. Alright, may have some some celery, some some carrot and some skelly and mm -hmm. whites. Mm-hmm. Prayer kid in the house. Big up yourself. Beverly Wheatley, you're back. So big up yourself. Sharon Brown. Candy skin. I started alkaline slash vegan in January. I weigh two fifty as of today. I am one ninety six. Go on, awesome. my girl. That's awesome, Sharon. That's encouraging. Trust me. Anytime me see one ninety six, me I go to celebrate and eat poo pig. Guess what? <laughs> I shall not take him off this vegan diet until he reach one ninety six. You're mad. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Oh, it look. It look good. Yeah, it look good. Well, I'm going to Bravo then. Thank you. You're welcome. Marjorie Bush I can't call these names. Marjorie says and sometimes you ending up buying more than what you really Yes all yes, the time. Trust me. All the time. Go supermarket I'm a catch a fire. Even this morning I saw a recipe that we would love to try that's that's vegan and we don't have two of the things out of the recipe and you gotta go buy them. So everything add up there. Everything. Master Yep, good morning to you, bless you. No butter plant, no corn in a day. Honey, I trouble with the other. Jalen said, plant them in pots. Hmm, that's a thought. I, I, I like, I would actually want to start with herbs. You know, I like having fresh herbs. 
and, and that would be nice to have organic. And then I remember said Ganja Liga now, so you can plant <laughs> Beverly, be Beverly, we are cooking um, veggie chunks run down. Start, start, baby. So we have veggie chunks. Where's the thingy? Kidding? We have veggie chunks in the pot with seasonings and carrots. And so to legalize it now as a rundown, you know what we're gonna add next. Mm -hmm. That's Every time he cooks these plant-based things, they always taste so delicious. You don't you don't even miss meat. You don't miss the meat. You don't miss them the right away the bun. <laughs> What's up, what a while I said about a plant the con. <laughs> the brother read the bond. <laughs> Nobody wanna plant the con. Everybody wants to read the bond. <laughs> and okay, I come with no song when I know you know. No song. I am oh, the please. song connoisseur. We don't stop telling to people then. Oh you think mm, 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 mm. save your skeleton tips and stick them in a pot of or of or water bottle with dirt. They'll grow. You know, I'm right? And the you will have a that Team Mitch set up. Thanks, Team Mitch. What a way it look good. Thanks, Dan. Hadassah said, I love Callaloo so much, but not for breakfast. More like lunch and dinner. I need more recipes with it. You see my Callaloo quiche? I wanted to make that. Mm. Or you also had a Callaloo thing, too. Callaloo rundown with something else. Check the, check the vegan playlist. I, I, we should have a couple of little based things in there. Marjorie, looking very delicious, guys. I'm not vegetarian, but I will certainly try this rundown. Yeah. All right, so this is the coconut cream, guys, and it is more a solid. <laughs> so it has to it has to do its thing. TB, she thought the comment was from um was from Master. Yet that's why I'm saying him. Oh yes, yes, Timmy. She's not. He's like, I hello, sir. I always <laughs> aim. <laughs> no. All right. Let me just add some water now to my thing. Mm. And allow the coconut now to do its thing. Mm -hmm. Make some lentil rundown or hmm? or song or some ital sip. No, please. Ital sip. Soup. Yeah. Ital no, soup. I sip. I sip. I sip. The name. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's soup. Soup. What them call oh, it? Oh, for real? Yeah, man. Okay. I know all of them something there now. Oh so, yeah. Show me a rasta, man. You see. We thought of the veggie chunks stupies this morning too, so we definitely would try that one. In lieu of you know, meat. <coughs> Jalen said it looks delicious. Thank you so much, Jalen. And you notice the, the, the coconut cream allows it to thicken to a nice consistency quickly. Mm. So you just keep adding water till you get it to the level where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And then you just allow it to do its thing. Mm -hmm. Donna daily look like she not the pump boy with a vegan thing either. What ball and rasta? <laughs> <laughs> it's a health thing, it's a health thing. It's not a religious thing, you see? You see what I say? You see me? <laughs> Show them the dumpling. The dumpling, the dumpling. When you're eating the rundown, dumpling. you know. Alright, he just added some water. When you're yeah, eating does... rundown, this is very vital to sap up the gravy. You see me? <laughs> You're not supposed to use the word sap it up. To do what? To uh, mop. Mop it up on yeah. the floor? After, no, that's what they say. You need foreign, you have to talk like the foreigners then. But I make foreign up and I need it. <laughs> mop up gravy. Yes, you just use it to mop up the gravy. Hallelujah. Have no, you no. guys ever tried Susumba Rondong? Oh yeah, I have some susumba we bring from Jamaica, remember see? Yeah, but have you made it into Rondon? Marjorie's asked. 
asking. Oh wow, this tastes so good. Tanya said, I am having so much beans and peas right now. Let's just say you wouldn't want to stand too close to me. You're not happy to eat be <laughs> you're not happy to eat your beans and peas, um, Tanya though. Tanya! <laughs> no, Tanya! <laughs> Tanya, we say you are um, that dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to eat. I don't even can remember what we eat at the time, but the things then um, one day we eat beans with falafel mm -hmm. and vegetable and little. You eat falafel, Tanya? Tanya, one of these days you will link up and go trade Joe's together. You hear Tanya? Tell mm -hmm. us when you're free. <laughs> I'm adding a little bit more salt because I checked it and it needs a little salt. I go Publix now, go buy my chunks because this makes me hungry. <laughs> Guys, it tastes so good. It tastes super, super delicious. I may mm -hmm. um, add a little butter. And guys, if you don't want to add butter, you can add um, coconut oil. Alright, so that's an option. Mm -hmm. But this is, um, this is olive oil spread, so it's not dairy. Right, right. <coughs> my hands hurt now. Your hands hurt now? Mm -hmm. Alright. So you stir them. You see how it start look like 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 yes. chew peas? No. Hear me? Like run down? Yeah. And chew me have a yellow light guys, that's why I'm not seeing it it's right. slightly yellow, but it's really white. So that's enough color. <laughs> you want no, let me open the door. It's gonna be dark. No, it's not. I've done the experiment before. Mm, see, it's white. See that? Yeah? Trust me. All right, all right. You want black, black pepper? Mm -hmm. What about paprika? No. I put a little already. She's scared of the black pepper, you see? And guys, check out her her, her um nice um tank top that she's wearing. Yeah. So where she where your eye go so? <laughs> you saw the eye move up and down, guys. The tank top is from Yardy Belly Merchandise Store. And it says Jam Down Jamaica Jam Rock. And it says Yardy Lifestyle at the bottom right there. And then the back. And the back is a racer back. Um, all right, turn on the back. No, I've not on it. Oh. <laughs> and then my shirt is the original. Let me show you. My shirt is the original Yada Belly t shirt. Yeah, yes, man. Water. And guys, as you can see, when you're using the, the, the coconut, um, the coconut paste, you definitely need to keep adding water and you're using soy chunks as well soy chunks absorbs a lot of liquid so you want to you want to know that for a fact all right i'm just cutting up some scallion the heads of the scallion now the green part to add to my pot and to make it nice want to you hey you all right mm -hmm. All right, so let me turn this around so you guys can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Yeah. So we have the tomatoes here. I'm gonna cut one big one and two, and leave some of the little ones. All right, me cut two of the little ones them too, cause me don't want them stains. But I'm gonna wash them off. Guys, as a part of our new found health journey we have cut out bottled water mm -hmm. Where are that? yeah bottled water and we're now doing you know filtered water from the water filter more economical and you at least know that 
you're getting well you're not you're not sure what you're getting in some of the water bottles the the, the bottled waters well it is widely re- known that what the water company does is really take water from the city and and sell you in a bottle you know you you think you're getting a, a, a nice purified water and all of these things but what you're really getting is city water just the same that has been um chemically treated Mm. You know, so what we have been doing is actually spending money on the same, the same amount of money that you spend for your water bill is the same amount of money the, the water company spend and then sell you back the same water. <clears throat> and so if you, if, you, if you want to hear more about it, you can check out Netflix have a, a documentary named Rotten mm. that talks about the water industry and the, the, the scam, you know taking water from your own pipe and sell it back mm-hmm. um also the the environmental cost you know water bottles are clogging up the whole place now because people ch- drink them water and throw the bottle and also the economical cost because you add to your monthly budget over how much hundred dollars a month just by buying water that is readily available from the pipe so we understood this and we decided so we're not, but they are party to it anymore. Mm-hmm. All right, let me go back to some comments. Marjorie says, I really admire you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Marjorie. We admire you too. Hadassah says, So cute, the tank top. Thanks, Hadassah. Um, Marjorie, very inventive. <clears throat> In, what? I'm thinking this is inventive. Mm hmm. Candies, hey, can you guys have a meet and greet in Coral Springs? Yes, Candies. We're gonna work on it immediately. The people who are in Florida, right? In South Florida, let us know if you would attend a meet and greet. I mean, we're pretty much yeah, in close at- proximity of each other, regardless of what city you're in. So, let us know if we decide that we're doing a meet and greet. If we you would guys would in go in Coral Springs, we can use Coral Springs. High school. High school? Yeah, I'm always there anyway. So the what? The meet and greet and a comedy show. Just do everything you know. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, so it has to be a more personal um then you know personal we don't have to eat one and then go party say get you. We uh we will figure it out guys and let you no, but that sounds like a great idea. I'm going to cook some food and make everybody come eat. No, you're going to cook food at the comedy show. Yeah, we're going to do everything wow. in a one. Everything in a one. <laughs> what water filter do you use? We got the Brita. Where's my water filter? We have a Brita. 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 This is it right here. Not butter. Brita. Brita. B-R-I-T-A. And it was pretty much inexpensive. The filters are not pricey either. And they and last, last you two months. Two or so months, depending on your use of the jug. Yeah. So it's more economical by far. How does I say count me in the meet and greet? <laughs> awesome, awesome. No. <laughs> And Ram said, no, meet and eat. Never <laughs> <laughs> put in the For real, meet and eat. It would be good if he could do a little pop-up um, restaurant for you guys. That would be awesome. So you guys can actually taste, you know. Some yardy belly. Some yardy belly. Cuisine. Food, yeah, cuisine. Rosemary Thump. You're in Tamarack. There's a lot of Florida people here, South Florida people. Of course, then South Florida we live. We, we. So, so guys, this is what you have to do. This is what is mandatory so that this thing can work. You all have to, if you have Instagram pages, you have to follow Yardy Belly TV on Instagram because that would be the more, you know, the most um, central way. or the easiest way for him to communicate that kind of information to you so follow yardy belly tv on instagram and if and when such um event will occur you know you can see it there well we'll post it everywhere still but you know make sure you follow the ig 
Jane, it's a great idea. What here in Switzerland we get natural spring water? Awesome, mm -hmm. awesome, Switzerland. I love your your whole idea of living. Mm -hmm. You make life easy for your your citizens, mm -hmm. and I totally love what you guys do. And I'm sure you guys have nice organic food too. Yes, I'm looking yeah. for the 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 um. Aisha, I'm looking for the first. Me get me watch this always late. I'm looking for the. I'm looking for the garlic powder oh found it oh you no know, like me run down so far guys i'm just adding some garlic powder now and i love garlic guys so <laughs> bear with me fly high on my way from brooklyn save me a plate in the microwave not knock <laughs> <laughs> jaylene i live in jamaica but i will be there <laughs> <laughs> You guys are too funny. Mm -mm -mm. And I tell you guys, this is a great. You see, with them dumpling there and something, jeez, I'm pissed. Mm -mm. I feel it right now. This look good. You want to want to spoon the taste, little babes? Let me make it taste you one taste little bit. it. All right, hold on. Oh my. <laughs> my god my god mm. no sir i put a little more pepper mm -mm. guys please tell this gentleman to not pepper it I, you know how much food we can't get to eat because of the pepper i pepper it man i just have semi pepper but not fully pepper 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 but just, just a little pepper mm. but not pepper 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 you know Mm -hmm. but just look pepper -ish. Turn off the food. and guys i keep my my scotch bonnet peppers in the freezer that way they will last because we don't normally always get scotch bonnet pepper here sometimes we get habaneros mm -hmm. i am beautiful i am a beautiful woman say so good morning teachers <laughs> you are a beautiful woman for saying good morning to us good morning to you yellow belly in the house north carolina good morning good morning and see me not use a lot of pepper none at all and guys if you are watching and this is your first time watching and you just stumbled across yardy belly tv just go ahead and subscribe i can um assure you you will not regret it we have you shall not tons of video in the past and even more coming in the, in future. the future so go ahead hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you can become one of the yaddyites <laughs> what no pig steel <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope fire fire well, even before we, we, we were ambitious enough to do this no meat November thing, pork was already off oh, of the team. Yeah, off of the, 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 the plate, the page, the plate, out of the whole picture. No pork to a team. So, no, there's no pork. <laughs> not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. And here I have. This is Shadon Benny or Kulantro. And it is a very, very nice herb, guys. How come I didn't know about that herb in Jamaica? Because we don't use it. Most Jamaicans don't use it. Mm. Guys, you know, no sorry for we. We have a graduate that's, that's sewing scissors yet to the kitchen scissors. <laughs> don't worry about work? it. We don't use it back and forth. We only use it in the kitchen. Right, right. All them do is tricky until they say this is a kitchen scissors. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the shot on benny is in yeah me have to tip a little bit more water mm -hmm. just a little bit it's nice you know but me just have put a little bit more water come is when you have, when you eat dumpling you have to put gravy yeah i like your day dates tell him again because we need to go on more jeez i'm peace <laughs> uh, so? maji burji Marjorie man, I a dryer dry me out in a man. Yeah, 
if somebody likes a particular thing you have to you have to you know do more make it happen make it happen and the last thing greenery Always and guys, we eat with the eye. Yeah, we eat with the eye. So you yeah. have to make sure that the supper looks good. Always finish up with your green. Eh? And I'm making sure that the wife is shares the food over there. Look on that man. Look at it. No man. And guys, usually what we do is, once we are doing it this way, we normally just um, have whatever we, we make for breakfast, for dinner. Um, you know, we sometimes adjust it because of the little boy, but for the most part, that's that's our dinner. You know, and we we definitely definitely are gonna enjoy this today. And let me tell you some of the downsides to to this vegan thing. Now, if you have if you're a meat person, what will happen is you will experience a little bit of withdrawal pains. Yeah, your mind will start to play trick on you and tell you, say, yeah man, just eat piece of meat, just eat piece of meat, just eat piece of meat. And it seems way easier. You seem like you cannot be satisfied. But I want you to understand this, that there are some products on the market that are vegan and even though it might not seem to be vegan. You know, some of the, Some of the regular juices and, and stuff, some, you know, potato chips, some of those stuff. Now, I'm not sending you to go binge on any snack like that. But what I'm telling you is you don't have to, you know, try to find the most exotic vegan food for to eat. You see what I'm getting at? You can make do, you know, and you can substitute meat without. If you walk, I'm going to do a video next week and show you walking through your supermarket some of the stuff that are easily can easily be substituted for for vegetarian vegan diets in that we may not have you know known about or we may not see in that light but we eat it every day we participate and we consume it you know but we just never associate it with being vegan or being vegetarian you know and so what we want to do is we want to just highlight some of these things so that you can offset your vegan diet by sticking with some of the familiar things. Right, see? All right, you want to bring it? If you want to bring it over, we can, we can just share it from, from... Okay. Moment of truth, you guys. Are you ready? Yes. And that's not one long banana guys it's one and a half joined together to look like one long banana I just like humble people hmm. What's cooking up today? Gina Brim, you are late to the party. But the good thing is that you can always go back and watch from the top. But we're making veggie chunks run down. And that's, this is really the, the ending of it. The outcome, the plating. <clears throat> I'm laying hands on my dinner plate and breathing a word of prayer <laughs> before you serve up my portion. <laughs> oh boy. My dream is very nice. Go back. I like, oh, <laughs> I know dry guys. <coughs> hmm? Sorry guys, oh. Yeah. But this is it, it looks very run downy to me. <laughs> it look run downy? Does it look run downy to you guys? It looks run downy to me, it looks authentic. It can pass. If you if you don't dig up and it says not salt mackerel, you would you know wouldn't know the difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's your turn, style turn? Yay! Turn, turn, style turn. When does start the next baby? <laughs> <laughs> 
This is it, guys. Breakfast. Oh, we, guys, we got the turnstile at IKEA. Yes, yes, yes. Do we like to pass on our information to you guys for those who are in the area or for if you have an IKEA in your area, they yeah. sell this very nice turnstile, you guys. Very and this affordable. Is from, this is for my folks in SoFlo. The, the IKEA <laughs> up there, the food is nice. Mm hmm. Oh, we can do an IKEA meet and greet. <laughs> V. Do the worry again, see. Tanya Johnson said, looks run down if it for real. <laughs> Gina said, wow, looks amazing. Please play it, man. Thank you. <laughs> yes. John Doe. On John the Doe. Plate, blessings. Blessings, you. On the plate, you have none other than our. The mighty, mighty chunks. <laughs> <laughs> this is none other than <laughs> the mighty mark. The mighty, mighty veggie chunks. <laughs> it's veggie, veggie chunks rundown. So it's veggie chunks with a little bit of turnip, carrots, and nice seasonings. Yes. And coconut cream, of course. See your yeah. Instagram picture now. We take the picture after. Oh, okay. But that you have to taste it on camera and have to share something. That it looks original. Yeah! So the thing there, guys, please. We don't always beg you guys, but we're going to beg you today. Please share this video on your Facebook pages or whatever social media pages you have. Just share the link and... Um, it will help to, you know, boost this channel a bit. I want banana with it. Just taste something. My girl, I just I taste my girl for taste my girl. Taste somebody, taste somebody. Hey, taste somebody, taste somebody. Bye. You have to do it on the camera. What, what are you doing? You know, craving people, she in here dance, guys. Me? Yes. You me see her dance. Me? Yes, very craving. But taste and buy and a, and a wine up yourself. You gave me a spoon. Mm -mm. Wow, this tastes good. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. It's almost pepper. They know that's what he wants. Why are you getting in trouble? No, because she's, guys, she's in here juggling up herself and she's not supposed to juggle up herself. <laughs> Wait till you see. You want banana? Hell yeah. I'm gonna go for banana. Guys, me not miss the starfish. Me not miss the mackerel. Me see what? <coughs> me not miss the mackerel. Watch ya. Oh, for very soft bananas, go to Presidente. <coughs> Hallelujah. I get it. It tastes so good. No, sir. I, who can, the first person come down, I will always get some. For real. <laughs> Christ. Mm. Wow. I chose Simon the hand. If Simon did hand, she'd have me. I know. And Kino, look like him gone after. Yeah, Kino gone work long. So him, him work <clears throat> That's the hurtful thing about it. I'm sorry for them, you see. Because no food for them. And guys, we just I just loaded up um, our vlog for Simone's birthday. Simone's birthday vlog. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. Guys, if you want to laugh, go check out that video because he always attracts some people who are not really too... LT. Right upstairs. <laughs> so that's gonna be. May I tell someone? May I tell him? That's gonna be a lot of shenanigans that birthday video. May I tell them? Go watch it. Guys, we have we have gone way past our time. Mm-hmm. Food member dance, Madre. We have gone way past our time, guys, and I don't really think it wise to have you guys um, salivating so much over our food. So we want to thank you for joining us today. Oh, did it appear nice, Ewan? 
is avocado. It's, you're not in Jamaica. You have to say avocado. Oh. And we really want to thank you for joining us today, guys. Our um, veggie chunks rundown. In my estimation, not tooting my own horns, but it's a big hit. Mm -hmm. It really, really, really made sense. And the way in which I did it, the way in which I took the steps and was careful to blend everything correctly, made it awesome. The only thing I would have added more of is pepper. You understand? But, you know, the wife here, cause, why are you cutting your hair for me? You don't have to cut your eye off of me, in Jesus' name. You understand? You don't have to cut your eye off of me. John Doe, blessings here, my brother. Blessings, blessings, blessings. And I, I, I did see that comment about the knives. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really talk to you about it. And we see what going on from there. So, guys, it's, it's, trust me. It's just being creative. And I believe that we can do a much, a much healthier lifestyle if we just get creative in the way in which we eat and the way in which we prepare our meals. So, yeah, I just that may I said today. Understand. Thank you once again. Remember to like, to share, and subscribe to our channel. And we do appreciate each and every one for hanging out with us. We love you. Watch No, look here, no, guys. Watch her. No, look here. Look here. After me, day, I try to close out the video. Look, look on the face. Watch your face. <laughs> Watch your face. After me, I try to close Ciao. out the video and talk to the people them about the Lord of Jesus. Look behind the background. Stop. Mm -hmm. What do you mean stop? What do you mean stop? Look where I go under the background. Watch it, watch it. And the dumpling hot, you know. Eh? It couldn't burn your top lip. Hmm? Sure. So I'm evil? <laughs> That's very evil. Uh, it's, uh... <laughs> so, guys, once again, love you all. And, and guess what? We have some videos that are coming up. We have some impromptu videos that will be coming up. And as soon as we get something exciting to to cook we're gonna make you guys know we're gonna make this vegan thing we're gonna bust the vegan world wide open and make it nice you understand me i say mevani mevani big up yourself and we're just gonna get this done right so until such time as we link again remember the mantra is live and laugh cook and eat cook and eat remember me tell you <laughs> Donna Dale is a pronounce the benediction now. <laughs> and now the end is near a joke. Bye. Bye, Donna. Donna, you give too much trouble. Bye. <laughs> Blessings, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, man. That's what the thing said. Yeah, the belly TV. Member. <laughs>